Hi, my name is Kashmira and recently I got selected on this prestigious platform called as the Jagriti Yatra which was in collaboration with the G20 this year. It is a ambitious 8000 km train ride which takes you to almost all parts of India. My journey began in Mumbai and then I we reached Bangalore and I have made videos about my uh, experiences in Mumbai and Bangalore and you can check them out here and today let's talk about the next leg of my journey which was Madurai in the vibrant city of Madurai our journey took us to the magnificent Minakshi Puram temple a place of divine beauty and spiritual significance the intricate architecture and the rich history of this temple left us in awe and we were marveled at its grandeur and the stories it held within its walls but our exploration didn't just stop there we had the incredible opportunity to visit the Arvind Dai Care Foundation performing an astounding 7 lakh surgeries every year the Arvind Eye Care Center is not only a healing center but also a hub for learning. The impact of Arvind Eye Care goes beyond just one city. It is a global force for change in eye care practices. They welcome doctors from 116 countries and provide them with training and empower them to establish similar institutions in their own communities. As we bid farewell to Madurai, we carried with us not only memories of its majestic temple but also a profound appreciation for organizations such as the Arvind Eye Care Center. Our next destination after Madurai was Sri Harikota. I'm sure most of you are familiar with the fact that Sri Harikota is where ISRO is located that is Indian Space Research Organization and yes we did get a chance to visit ISRO and we also got a chance to look at the launching pad of the Chandrayaan 3. Unfortunately there was no photography allowed inside of ISRO so I don't have any pictures or any videos to share that with you guys but it was the most amazing part of the Yatra for myself and for most of the people in our journey. I think it was a once in a lifetime opportunity to go inside the Indian Space Research Organization and I felt so proud as an Indian to look at the sheer magnitude and of the infrastructure and the size of the rocket launching pad. It was, it is just amazing. After Sri Harikota, it was time to head to the state of Orissa and visit Gram Vikas. To actually get together, pay for building their own toilets and eventually a bathing room because there was need for a private bathing space as well. And every house from around the world to build a pipe water supply system for the village where every household got a tap connection. The beauty of this Yatra is not only the travel part but also the part where you meet people coming from different backgrounds. I just happened to bump into somebody who has a master's in entrepreneurship and uh, his name is Surain and now let's hear from Surain himself. Masters in Entrepreneurship basically covers all the aspects of entrepreneurship right from the ideation to the scaling of the, scaling of the business. So if you have an idea, how will you curate it, what's the marketing base, how will the operation work, how will the MVP will look like, how will you develop the MVP and all these things and then the operation part and then the scaling as well. So every part is covered in the entrepreneurship. Basically, there is not a single expertise you will get but you will get everything. So that's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and we will meet at the next destination. Bye.